Bethesda Game Studios may be taking a victory lap after their Starfield Direct, but as an honest god, I have to say, I worry about them. The recent news that The Elder Scrolls VI won't release for another five or six years is kind of sickening, to say the least. It makes me feel like I have the blight, but not in the good divine disease way. I mean, it's already the 2023rd year of the current era. And by the time we get to start our adventure in Hammerfell or High Rock or Valenwood or Akavir or the adoring fans' plane of oblivion, it will almost be fetching 2030. The slow Enwas at Bethesda are moving at the pace of an over-encumbered mud crab at this stage. Skyrim will be celebrating its 20th anniversary by the time the Elder Scrolls VI comes around. And, you know, BGS will delay TES VI in favor of another anniversary edition, which adds baking and two and a half new creation club quests. Instead of fighting scarabs in the sands of the Alakur, you'll be fighting over who gets the last sweet roll in 2030. This game isn't delayed. It's stuck in some kind of pre-development hell that makes Duke Nukem forever look like I got the five-month announcement to release treatment that Fallout 4 did. And speaking of Fallout, what of it? Fallout 5 is going to be a 2040 SR thing, I guess. Will they just wait until 2077 and hope the real apocalypse will do the work for them like the mortars do? Was that too far? Todd, the false god Howard, is going to fight me in the heart chamber now. He better bring Keening and Sunder and not insist on a chess match like last time. Then there's the matter of Starfield 2, which will release next century at this point for the Xbox One Series 360 no-scopes Game Pass X2, the reckoning console. I mean, if you calculate the amount of BGS games in a lifetime, it's probably something you can count on two hands. Elder Scrolls games are going to become a once-in-a-generation thing, like fetching Halley's Comet or whatever Blood Moon is happening soon, and not the Solstheim kind. Bethesda, not everyone is a myrrh or a god like me. Think in terms of the next five years, not the next five centuries, please. You are juggling three different franchises now and expect your fan base to stare death right in the face as they pray to Talos, or better yet, Dagoth Ur that they will live to see the next entry in their favorite BGS franchise. All the while, Fortnite releases its 10th season in a month, and Warzone 76 comes out. I don't think anyone would want that game, by the way. We do not need to see Captain Price in post-apocalyptic Appalachia. We have been patient, Todd. I mean, some of the fans were in high school or younger when Skyrim came out. And by the time The Elder Scrolls VI comes out, they will be in a retirement home wondering whether Skyrim was merely a figment of their imagination at that stage and if bingo is on today. I'm over 3,000 years old, Todd. I could go any day now, especially after the Ash Yam Moon sugar-baked Alaska I had the other day. Don't ask. Dagothur, the building is basically my retirement home at this point, but with more lava and less hard-of-hearing elders. Although some of the Dagoths are a little deaf these days. The Elder Scrolls VI will have to be at a masterpiece. I mean, it has to be to justify me sitting in the heart chamber all these years, waiting for it. I've spent at least a thousand years twiddling my thumbs and checking IGN for news on what Bethesda are doing. Can you imagine refreshing IGN for a millennium? And yes, I know IGN have only been around since the 90s, but it still makes sense to me. TS6 better give us all of Tamriel, all of Akavir, all of Atmora, and the entire fetching continental United States at this stage. And Fallout 5 needs to do that, but also throw in China, Japan, and the Republic of Dave. Uh, the Elder Scrolls 6 needs to cure every disease, including ataxia, and even yellow tick, and then grant you eternal life so you can actually play the next entry. It needs to pay off your mortgage and give you an infinite supply of Mountain Dew and Doritos. It needs to be the peak of humanity and something that makes you cry tears of joy every time you think of it and nothing less. You know what? Bethesda need to outsource their IPs ASAP. I mean get Arcane to make a Dark Brotherhood game so they aren't tempted to make Redfall 2 and destroy Microsoft in the process. Obsidian could finally do Fallout New Orleans, get playground games to make Kart Racer spelled with a C where you zoom across Tamriel as a big-headed Mike the Liar or Menkar Cameron, get Zinimax to do a Starfield MMO, and expect the Star Citizen devs to sue you, but do it anyway. 
The possibilities are endless, Todd, and go beyond mobile games that literally no one asked for. All in all, Bethesda need to look beyond the stars and get their swit together. Starfield should be great, but Bethesda, no one lives forever. I think it's time I started my 800th playthrough of Skyrim. Might as well at this point.